So as you know, Stephanie Meyer's work has inspired countless fan fiction stories. Mm. I was recently browsing through a few on the net, and I was wondering if, just based on the title alone, you could tell me if it's inspired by Twilight or The Host. Go on. Test Drills. Test Drills. Sounds sciencey. Test. Drill. The Host. The Host. Correct. All right. <laughs> Master of the Universe. It's got to be the host. Think about it. Vam vampires oh. aren't masters of the universe. Aliens. Twilight. Trick question. Because Master of the Universe is actually the fan fiction that later spawned Fifty Shades of Grey. You can't change the rules halfway through the game. <laughs> no. You said Twilight or the trick, host. Trick, trick oh. answer. No, 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 no. Trick Shades answer. Didn't mean my answer. <laughs> that what you said. Master of the Universe was inspired by Twilight, and later the title was changed that was to Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, okay. okay. He -Man. You he -Man. will absolutely use that information again in your life. Welded. <laughs> Welded. <laughs> what are you thinking? I don't know. The host. Yes. Okay, you knew all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been browsing through the fanfiction? Yes, fiction I ones? love fanfiction. Have you written? You a ask few? me some slash fiction titles, I'll be able to nail those too. <laughs> Am I talking to the author of Welded? Yeah. And I don't know yeah. it. Um, as we see in the film, aliens can insert themselves into humans and live as them in their physical form. If you had to choose any actor you admire to insert themselves into your that was so worded wrong. We do that. I've said it, I've said it much <laughs> worse. So bad. Believe me. To occupy your human form and star in your next movie using their acting abilities, who would you pick? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Dan Day-Lewis. Interesting. Because I read a quote that says, uh, uh, your your impersonation of Dan Day Lewis playing yourself is just okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's say there was actually an alien apocalypse, and let's say you had to reside in a cave like in the film. What would you need in there with you to not go absolutely insane? Music of some sort. Yeah. We we talked, we brainstormed a lot of what what we would have in the cave, and we weren't able to show a lot of it. But one of the things was music. We felt like we would all maybe. You know, music would be good. Music would be good. I'd like a double bed, <laughs> a bath. You don't want to be sleeping on rocks, do you? That mm -hmm. would drive you nuts. These are simple A brewery. Things, we have a lot of, you know, booze. Of, yeah. We grow a lot of the, the the wheat there, so we can make a nice hoppy beer. Yeah. Yeah.